Today we're in New York, hanging out with Michael Princinello. Michael is the CEO of Classic Car Club in Manhattan, a private membership club for people who love great cars. Offering its members anything from a classic 911 to a modern Lamborghini and anything in between, members of Classic Car Club are sure to be able to drive a great car anytime. Michael is a car enthusiast, has an eye for great detail, and is a watch guy. Today, we're going to get to know Michael a little better and hear some really great watch stories. My name is Michael Pertinell. I'm the co-founder of Classic Car Club Manhattan. I'm just a transplant Long Island guy living in New York City. I guess most people describe me as a car guy, maybe an entrepreneur. I kind of get paid to drive, but I'm not a professional driver or a really good race car driver. It's as close as you can get, <laughs> so that's what I do. Classic Car Club is a really interesting and unique club. We have a location here in New York and the original club. I wish I was smart enough to start it, but I wasn't. I imported it with my partner, Zach Mosley, and our third partner, Phil Cavanaugh. He started the Classic Car Club in London in 1995. So we've been doing this for 20-something years. New York is 11 years old now. It's a private club, it's a community, and everybody in it has a love of cars. So we stock about 40 cars, and members call up, they can drive whatever they like, treat it as their own. But then it's also all about the events. So we probably have about 50 events every year for members. So we do a lot of performance driving schools. We have our own race team. We do really great scotch tastings at the car club, private dinners with great chefs like Chef Angel Carmelini. And then we also do mechanics night with a bunch of PBRs and pizza. So it's really high-low culture, but it's really just about enjoying cars, not looking at them, but driving them, doing things. Cars want to be driven. I get really sad when I see collector cars stored away in garages. It's like they're in cages. They want to be driven. They have a soul. Anything that, in our perspective, progresses automotive culture, automotive engineering, automotive design has a house at the Classic Car Club. So classics in the name, but modern classics are very welcome. This is a new Mele Miglia. It's really beautiful, and I think as far as automotive themed watches go, this one has kind of earned it. Sometimes it's really easy to put some racing stripes on something and make it a car watch. But Chopar has a really great history of supporting racing and supporting privateer and factory teams. I have a 2001 Mille Miglia. I have a newer one because it's sort of an homage to my old one. In this one, the dial was inspired by the dash of an early Ferrari that won one of the early Mille Miglias. It's just good contrast and very simple. I like chronographs because, again, it's all about the tenths of seconds, um, the milliseconds, as it were, and I just like that it's more complicated. And so I wanted to upgrade it with a bigger one and a more beautiful one, and I think that this does it really well. This is probably the only watch I've never put a new band on because of that. Dunlop tire tread as a band is rather timeless. The older one is even more timeless, but I think that they're both beautiful. They sort of say something. You see someone who has a Mille Miglia, you know that you can bring them to the car club. And the ice has been broken. We all like cars. We like a good watch. And I think that this sort of is like Batmobile symbol for someone who likes cars. This is a really special watch to me. This is the David German Shelby 1000 Commemorative Edition. I believe they made 600 of them. And it's special for a few reasons. The designer at David Yerman is Evan Yerman. I know him through his car collection, so he has a great car collection and very good taste and really good design and loves American muscle cars. And for the 50th anniversary of Shelby American, which is a great American brand, obviously, David Yerman partnered with Shelby to make this watch to commemorate the building of the Shelby 1000. What's made it even more special is that it was really one of the last things that Carol Shelby saw and approved before he died. And he really loved the watch and each one has his signature on the back, which is sort of the iconic Shelby thing. But man, I gotta say, David German just got this one really right. It's a beautiful homage to a great brand and a cool car. Half the time I'm in a garage, moving things around, dealing with cars, and things get knocked around, and this has been a battle tank of a, of a watch for me. And I like it that if you want a nice watch, I don't think David German would initially pop up on your radar, but I love the watches that they build. They're designed in America, but they're built in in Switzerland, so they have all the right mechanisms. There's a lot of tone on tone in the dial. It's really difficult to have a lot of detail where you don't have all these contrasting colors shouting at you, so it's a sophisticated design. I think that they did a really nice job on it.
This one is probably the most meaningful. Actually, not probably. This is just a chronograph tag Hoyer. And I got this when I graduated college. They let me out, they gave me a degree. Surprise to everybody. And so, as a bit of a congratulations, my parents gave me this one. I had picked it out at the time. I wanted a chronograph and I really wanted a blue face. I don't know why I was so particular about it, but at the time I was. And the story is, is that Tag Hoyer did not make a blue chronograph face, but my parents called and they made one for them. And then after that, they started making them. So it has a lot of special meaning for that one. This is one of those moments where someone gives you a watch because my parents were proud of me. I still wear it all the time. It's sort of different than my taste now, you know, 20 years later. I probably have a bit of a different aesthetic, but this watch transcends all of that because it has a lot of meaning, and I think meaning is more meaningful than most of it, so. When we started Classic Car Club Manhattan, it was really come and drive a great car and have a great day. And we've really built this community. And it's interesting, we have people stop by the Classic Car Club now every day from all over the world. And I think it's because we've just been very honest about what we do. It's just we love cars and we like driving them. We've never tried to make it cool. We've never tried to be exclusive or any of that. We just love sharing cars. And that has turned our business into this whole, I don't want to say a lifestyle brand, because what does that mean really? But it's sort of what it is. We've just been really inventing new ways to get more people to really enjoy a great car. Watches are a really good parallel because you come to the car club to admire really beautifully made things by hand. The world is a bit short on that, and watches are one of those things. And so there's a really strong timepiece influence that's at the Classic Car Club. Watches and cars, they just live together really well.